little bit personal. I decided to share it with you. As soon as I put this microphone down. Can't really all hear me without the mic. I had a heart attack. Two stents put in my heart on the Widowmaker artery. It happened. Brother Tharp might have told you, but I'm telling you, testify. North Africa, okay? Africa, the North Coast, Tunisia. It's not clean. It's not like America. Four days. Four days after I got back, I was in the hospital having a heart attack. I didn't know it was coming. Did you hear what I said? I was in the hospital having a heart attack. I went to the hospital to get checked, get checked for some blockage, have one of those tests, and then they said, wow, you need a heart cath, let's do it now. Then one hospital did it, said, wow, this is too much blockage, we need to send you to the special heart hospital, Centennial Hospital in Nashville, Tennessee, and you need to take an ambulance ride, for those of you locals, an ambulance ride down to the other hospital. I'm in the hospital, then I'm in the cardiac, which means heart, in case you're not up on things, the cardiac intensive care unit. I'm in the intensive care unit for people with heart issues. I'm laying there on the bed, and that's where I had a heart attack. Can you think of a better place to have one if you're going to have one? Seriously, come on now. You've got a word, something. Hey, help me out here. What better place could you be to have a heart attack? And I'm just laying there. I'm like, you never had one. I don't know how to express it to you, but I just, I was leaving. <laughs> I was, I mean, the, I felt the life draining out of me. My heart rate went down to like 25 or something, and I would just zoom, and it came fast, and I was like, didn't have bad chest pains. I was just checking out. Yeah. I mean, there's people standing all around me and looking and, and reading, you know, numbers off machines. And they were getting all excited. And I was just like, bye-bye. <laughs> I couldn't talk. I couldn't say, help me. My eyes are wide open. And I was leaving. Happy to be gone. But the Lord took care of me. And had those people take care of me. Then I had another heart cat at this hospital and so forth. And all that stuff's not important the details what's important is this personal thing i'm sharing with you what if that had happened four days previous on the north coast of africa yeah. well i can tell you what would have happened i talked to the heart specialist and cardiac there they would have said yeah no way so you you just barely might you might would have made it if this happened at home and somebody called 911 but i doubt it but for sure if you would have been on the north coast of africa you would have come home in a body bag yeah. Now, why did God do that? Because it wasn't time for me to go yet. Because I was supposed to come preach for you today. Amen. That's why it's important for you to listen when God gives you something. Amen. When God does things to make something come to pass, there's a reason. It's not a blase, oh, I'll go to church today. No, there's, God has something for you to hear and do. Now I'm telling you, I was already trying my best to do what the Lord wanted me to do. I really was. Half my whole life. I'm not boasting, it's just a fact. I don't have any sowing wild oats, going crazy, any, any years of being out of church for a year or two, or out of God's life. I don't have that. But I know God did something for me, so when things come to pass and you start to get overwhelmed, may I remind you of something today? Think back to the past. Yeah. The last time God helped you. I'm going to be honest with you. Your camera move, if I move, or am I going to freak you out? You still see me? How about now? How about now? All right. I'm just trying to wake y'all up. I'm almost done. Don't get discouraged. So, in December, God saves my life, lets me have a heart attack in a cardiac unit in a special heart hospital. So then, people start canceling my meetings. I don't have anything backed up to pay the bills. And I start having to do whatever, praying, Lord, help pay the bills. And you know what? For about this long, I started to say, Lord, man, this is terrible. I, I, I should have something 
Lord, this is, I've been doing this a long time. I haven't had a salary in 25 years. But Lord, it's not cool now. I, I don't have any money to pay the bills. And I, I can't whine and beg people for help and, you know, all this stuff. For about half that long, I said. <laughs> and then the Lord said, excuse me, bucko. Didn't I just bring you back from Africa and delay your heart attack and let you have a heart attack in the hospital? Yeah. 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 Don't you think I can take care of you now? Amen. Yeah. And I said, I'm sorry, Lord. I yield. Yes, I know you can take care of me. Amen.